friends. I am so happy to be spending the day with you today. Today is Wednesday and I took the day off because I just needed a day. Monday was a holiday. We used to get the holiday. Unfortunately, we don't anymore, but we do. We can choose to use it as a floating holiday. So I had a couple things that I needed to get done on Monday and then yesterday. So I thought today would be a good day to take off. But we have been so busy on the weekends with Sky Sports. We've had tournaments. Uh, we actually went away to a tournament last weekend and her team won the championship. So they were so excited. But it was six hours away. We got home late. Then it was back to school, back to work. So sometimes you just need a day. My husband's working. My daughter's at school. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. And I do have a few updates for you. So I feel like it's been such a long time since I filmed a vlog. And I love filming vlogs. It's so much fun just taking you guys with me. But one update I wanted to share. And I think I might have shared it on Instagram. But I could be wrong. So you guys know the whole debacle with the YSL envelope bag. I got that during the Nordstrom sale around Christmas. It was 40% off. I got it. The stitch was out of it. Well, I reached out to my sales associate at Nick. He was wonderful. He actually was able to order me another one. Would you believe I got it in the mail? And the other one had stitches out too. So I don't know if there were like major quality control issues, but to make a long story short, I ended up returning that bag. I didn't want to because I got such a good deal, but I feel like as expensive as these things are, they have to be perfect. They really do. So unfortunately I had already paid my Nordstrom bill, which meant I either, I had a credit on my Nordstrom, but I called Nordstrom and they were able to issue me a check so that could go back into to my account. So just an FYI about that if you ever do that. So to make a long story short, now I'm going to go on the hunt today for a new bag to kind of replace that one. And there are a couple that I've had my eye on that I want to try, try out. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. Let's see, was there anything else? Oh, I do want to update you also on this lip gloss. It's the Gucci lip gloss. So I have it on today, but I've been wearing it with my Dior lip liner. But let me put a little more on to show you what it looks like. And I actually do like it. If you're someone who doesn't like that like burning, stinging sensation, you might not like it because this does that. But if you just want a good glossy lip, I recommend it. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. I don't really like the stars on it. I feel like Gucci is a classy brand and I feel like this makes it look a little childish. But nonetheless, I've been using it. I enjoy it. The sweater I have on, um, I got this from Nordstrom. It, I think it's currently 50% off, so I'll link it down below. But let's see. Today I have a gray sweatshirt. I'll show you with you my whole outfit. Just some jeans. And then I think I'm going to wear this pink jacket and I'm going to wear one of my pink bags. So should we wear my pink boy bag or should we wear that one right there? Oh gosh, I don't know. They're both so pretty. I think I like to be crossbody when I'm shopping. So I think we're going to go with the boy bag. So let me go ahead and grab that. Oh, and we also have to pick some earrings. So let me take you to my jewelry box and we will pick some earrings. If you haven't checked out my luxury jewelry collection, make sure to do so. I share with you all of my fashion jewelry from like Chanel, Hermes, Dior, all of the fun stuff. So let's go pick out my earrings. I keep all of my jewelry in this Kendra Scott jewelry box. I just love it. So I think today... I think I'm going to go with these. I actually think I picked these up in my last vlog. It was my birthday vlog, but I think they'll pair nicely with my sweater. So let me go ahead and put them on and I'll show you what they look like. All right, I just put the earrings on. I love them. I was on the hunt for a pair like this. So I'm so happy I was able to find them. So I have those earrings. I'm going to put this coat on. It is a chilly, chilly day today. And part of me was like, well, maybe I shouldn't wear a sweater and a jacket because I'll be in the mall. It'll be a little hot, but um, this is what it looks like. And then let's go with this bag. I am still like in love with the color of this bag. This is just the perfect pink in my opinion. Okay, so there you go. And I am going to wear, let me show you the sneakers. Okay, I'm going to wear these sneakers, my Veja sneakers. They have a little pink in them, which I love. 
but not only are they cute, but they're super comfortable as well. So I'm going to wear these. And then my jeans. Okay, so I have flare jeans. I do have a pair of mom jeans, but you guys, mom jeans just don't look right on me. So you know what? I'm wearing skinny jeans today, and I don't care. I know people say they're out of style, but you got to wear what's comfortable, and these are stretchy, and they are comfortable. So let me put my shoes on, and I'll show you my whole outfit. All right, here is the whole look. I also added a pair of my Chanel Aviator Sunnies, Chanel earrings, Nordstrom. This coat is Zara Chanel bag, skinny jeans, Veja sneakers. This is the full look today. Oh, I also have this bangle I've been wearing as well. This is from Tory Burch. I am kind of testing it out to see how I like it and then maybe someday I'll invest in the love bracelet but I don't know we'll see I really like this one for now it's super cute so that is my outfit and let me share with you very quickly what's in my bag okay hopefully you guys can hear me okay because I left my microphone upstairs but I want to start by showing you these are the keys I'm bringing today this is the Damia Ben with Rose Ballerine I simply have my key fab and then I have my ID major credit card I'm gonna keep this in my pocket for easy access here is the beauty that is the Chanel boy I am just obsessed with this color it opens like so and here you can see what I have in it I just have my Chanel Chance Autant Spray. It's a very feminine scent. I love it. I have my Chanel Mirror for when I need to check my teeth after eating. I have this little guy, which I just recently got, but it's super cute. It's by Laneige, but it has this little applicator, so it makes it nice and easy to apply. So I'm going to bring that and then the final item that I have in here is my little Chanel flap card holder. This is where I have like all of my cards. And then on the back, I have two gift cards. One is to Nordstrom and then the other gift card is to Saks Fifth Avenue. So then you can see the inside. I have a base shaper. I do have a coupon code that will get you a percentage off base shapers. This is just a good way to open up your bag to maximize space. I do also have an organizer, but I can't find it at the moment. So that's everything that I am keeping in here. Let's pack it back up. Don't want to stretch it out too much. And then I'll have my phone and I'll also have my keys, which I will uh, carry. But that is my bag today. We are ready to go. I have my drink. I have my granola bar. Let's get going. I'm in my car at the moment. I'm getting gas, but I'm so excited for today, you guys. I know I tell you this, but it's so important to have a day, especially if you can feel that you really need one, like a good mental health day. And I'm so excited to go to the mall, you know, have something yummy for lunch, maybe a big slice of pizza and a Diet Coke. I love that combination. Hopefully I can find a bag. And the good thing about the bag is it's kind of like a wash, right? Isn't that girl math? It's like a wash because I got the check back from Nordstrom. So now I'm investing it right back. So it's not like I'm shelling out any money for it. So anyway, it should be a fun day and I can't wait. So once it's done, I am going to drink my greens. I have my greens. I have a granola bar. We're going to start our trek. Sorry, the guy next to me is loading rocks out of his truck. So sorry about that. But anyway, so I'm excited. I will take you guys along with me. I can't wait. I am here and I am so excited. So let's get to shopping. I'm around from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind, pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat, like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good, you got me good. I keep on trying. And keep on driving and driving along the road to never end. Lost my head or feel my spark between the jars and bottle jar. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving.
Okay guys, I am back at the car and I am over the moon excited because, let me show you, I purchased my first ever Cartier piece. I can't wait. Now, I'm not going to show you in today's video. I am going to do a dedicated video just to share a lot of details in case anyone else is interested, but stay tuned because that video is coming. Now, I did come here with the thought that I was going to look at a new handbag. I went to Louis Vuitton. I met with um, Stephanie. She's one of my sales associates and she is awesome to deal with, but they did not have the bag that I went in to look at. I did try on a couple other bags. I tried that pink Capucines and I will tell you, I tried the mini version too and I actually liked the way that looked crossbody, but it was so, so pricey. And I think I told you guys that when it comes to Louis Vuitton bags, they have like a certain limit when it comes to the price and those are just so expensive. I also tried on the bum bag which I thought was neat it would be very functional but I didn't like the strap that came with it so I was like ah, eh, there wasn't anything I was like super excited about and then I thought you know what <sighs> let me go back into Cartier let me try on a couple of things and I tried on a bunch of things bracelets rings I saw earrings I saw necklaces like so many pretty things and I did end up picking up my first piece so stay tuned I will have a video coming but for now, I'm going to head back home, and if I have any packages or anything like that, I will share that with you. But you guys, other than this, I didn't get anything. Usually I get like little items here and there. I didn't get anything, but I would say the Cartier item was good, and I'm really excited about it because it's something, you know, I'm going to be able to wear all the time. Hey guys, it is the next day. I am so excited to share with you my Cartier piece. That is going to be in the next video. I'm going to do a dedicated video but I just got a few items in from Dior Beauty a few restocks and then I have some really good free gifts to share as well as some items that I got from being in the loyalty program so I thought I would do that now I'm gonna spare you from me like opening up all the packaging I already opened it all up so I can show it to you really easily so I am obsessed with Dior freebies, free gifts, they get me every time. And they were, in this particular case, they were having a deal where if you spent $175, you got a free pouch. And then I put another coupon in, coupon code in to get another free pouch and some goodies. And then I also was able to get my birthday platinum reward for being a part of the Dior loyalty program. Now, if you checked out my birthday coupon haul, I shared with you what I did get there, but I do have another email address and my other email address had a different birthday platinum gift so I thought I would share it with you so first what I want to do I'm gonna share with you what I actually bought and then I will get into the free gifts that I got so hopefully you guys can see me okay I am filming down in my bedroom but it's kind of a dreary day so the lighting is not the best but I'm filming in front of my little like desk area this is where I kind of do all of my YouTube stuff okay so the first item I got is a restock. It is the Dior Forever Foundation. I have talked about this over and over and over again. It is my favorite. I'm wearing it today. I have it in the shade 2.5N, but I also have it in 2N. But the thing I like about this is it has a pump. So for sanitary reasons, I love that. So I got that, although I am noticing the Dior prices are a little more, which is kind of a bummer, but I know that's just how it is with a lot of brands now. Now this is something new that I am trying, so if you have tried it, let me know if you like it. It is the Forever for Dior Forever Velvet Veil. This is actually a 24 hour blurring matte primer comes in this packaging and it comes with a pump as well. So I'm really excited about that. The primer that I use now is the Tarte um, Mattifying Poreless Primer. I really like it, but I always love trying new primers, especially as I'm getting older. I am looking for anything that's gonna make my skin look better. And just so you guys know, whenever I film, I don't use, I know that when you edit, you can put like filters and stuff, but I actually edit on iMovie on my iPhone, so I don't put any type of like filters. So if you see my skin and it looks 
good it's not filtered but if you see my skin and it looks bad it's not filtered so i am being honest with you guys here no filter i'm getting older i'm embracing my wrinkles that's just how it goes so but i love finding new products that's going to make things better the next item this is a repurchase it is the forever perfect fix this is the setting spray so i do love the urban decay all nighter setting spray but i like this one as well so i kind of use those in conjunction with one another and then the final item that I purchased, and then we have a lot of free gifts, is this. This is new, the Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. It looks very similar to the concealer, but I got it in gold, and I'm kind of wondering if I should have got it in pink, because I'm noticing that when I use highlighter now, a pinky tone looks better, but I'll show you what this looks like. You see that? Very shiny, but again, I wonder how that's going to look on my skin tone. I'll have to play around with it, but neither, nonetheless, it was new. I wanted to try it. Now, let's get into the freebies. So as I stated, if you spent $175, I ended up getting this bag, and I think this is what everyone wanted. It is the denim Dior bag. I have almost every Dior free bag there is. I have like all the pink ones, the red ones, the black ones, and this one was new. It was denim. It has a little star there. And this was for like National Mascara Day. So you got the pouch and then you also got a Dior Maximizer 3D and then you got the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. So I got both of these. This will be great for travel, but how cute is this denim pouch? Love it. And I think it's still going on. I hope so. If not, I'm sure it will come back because they always have, if these freebies are popular, that usually nine times out of 10, they come back. Okay, so then I also, I put a coupon code in and I got this little drawstring pouch. Super cute, again, for travel. This is good for like the beach. And there were a couple little items that I got for free, which I really, really loved these. The first item was the Capture Total Little Lotion. Again, this is great for travel. And then the Capture Total Serum. So I got both of these in this pouch. And then I also got to pick some freebies at checkout. So I picked the Eden Rock by Christian Dior. And then I picked the Rouge Dior in number 100 nude look, which is a little lipstick. And then the Christian Dior Le Balm. I have the full size of this and this is a little sample. So I got all of these for free. And oh my God, I was so excited. Like with the loyalty program, sometimes the gifts will just kind of appear in your cart and that's what happened here. But this is a really cool gift. So it's like this and it says Christian Dior around the world. See that? You see the back? And you open it up here and you can see how it looks on the inside. And wait until you see this because I have already opened it. You get this little set and it comes with a bunch of pencils. How many? You get six pencils and they say Dior. So is that focusing? See how they say Dior? How cute is that? Um, so I'll put that in my little office area and then it also comes with a little Dior notebook and on the inside blank pages but it just says just says Dior at the bottom there so this was the platinum birthday gift and like I said this kind of just appeared in my cart but I noticed you can't really get it until your actual birthday or later if it's not there in your platinum then I'd recommend calling and they can give you a unique coupon code so I picked up those four items and I got all of these free gifts so I will link the Dior items I picked up and then if there are any coupon codes I'll I'll put the coupon codes down below as well but I think I'm going to end this vlog here usually I pick stuff up from the mall so I can share with you what I got but the only thing I got yesterday was the Cartier piece and I want to do a dedicated video so I thought it would be fitting to share with you what I got in the mail so I'm gonna end this vlog here if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to be following me on Instagram as well and stay tuned because I cannot wait to share with you the Cartier piece I think this is gonna be a problem I already have my my next piece picked out I worry that I'm going down a bad path and now I'm going to get addicted to Cartier jewelry we'll see okay have a good day you guys and I'll see you in my next video